participating in these protests is extremely important, but that means that you do need to come prepared. So you have to think of the appropriate clothing. You have to think about hydration. I recommend hydrate before going to an event like this, making sure you have snacks with you, certainly wearing appropriate because COVID-19 is, uh, we are still in that situation. I felt that not only should I just appear, I should also provide any assistance. So uh, independently, what I've been doing is every day I've been getting uh, supplies for basic first aid, but also for protests. If there's any use of non-lethal deterrent, such as tear gas, uh, having materials with me to be able to treat people uh, who are exposed. And then this just goes like that you can get it off the counter, you dilute it out, and it's very effective at reducing the acid, uh, which is what's found in tear gas and neutralizing it, and then irrigating to get the, the, uh, you know, the, the pepper off so that you, you can actually see. You can simply put it in a water bottle. You basically pour out half of the water bottle and pour in the other half milk of uh, magnesia, and it's ready to go. Um, and then it is, uh, you are irrigating, so it is a large volume. It's not just a small amount that you're applying. A full bottle should be able to treat one person. Now I'm circling around for people who may be having heat stroke or dehydration or sprain an ankle. These are the things about a protest that can uh, you know, very quickly become a problem. And so promptly treating people right then and there so that they can pick up and keep moving on uh, to continue their, their efforts to be heard. Um, I think that's where I, I fit in best. Now's the time for everyone to voice uh, their concerns, to be able to actually support their brothers and sisters. This is the time, and uh, there's no question. We have certainly gone through everything with the pandemic. I think uh, this supersedes that. And I know people are very concerned about, you know, well, will this cause a spike? But I've, I've seen, even in these large groups, I still see people wearing masks. I, I still see people bringing hand sanitizer. I mean, it's not like people have just thrown up everything in the air and said, forget about COVID-19. And for my medical professionals, I hope you're able to do it too. Get out there, be independent. Don't think that you're gonna suffer re repercussions for doing what you know is right.